In a little more than 200 years, Sydney has gone from being a place of exile for convicts to a modern, confident metropolis. Here in this spectacular setting, spanned by the famous Sydney Harbour Bridge, there is another construction that perhaps most captures the extraordinary history and spirit of this city and this new nation. It is the Sydney Opera House, the great Australian icon and one of the most celebrated buildings in the world. The Opera House was designed in 1957 by a Danish architect, Jorn Utzon, and with its unique use of curves, reflected light and eye-catching angles, it has become one of the most memorable buildings of the 20th century. Its forms are strong, like a symbol for Sydney itself, with these great shells one upon another, an appropriate symbol for a maritime city. Woodson looked at many other things for inspiration. He'd been to Mexico and seen Mayan architecture, where complex structures were planted on massive platforms. Woodson also took inspiration from nature, using natural forms of powerful elementary geometry with modern building materials like concrete. Utzon ingeniously created a complex but emblematic building. With its sweeping curves and arches, it captured the imagination and dominates the skyline from whichever angle it is viewed. Sadly, in 1966, Utzon walked off the project after planning rows and the escalating budget. The government at the time had insisted on a series of revisions and had not fully appreciated the costs of work involved in the radical design. The Sydney Opera House was finally completed in 1973, a whole decade later than planned. It eventually cost around 15 times the original 1957 estimate, but many would say it was money well spent to deliver one of the most iconic buildings in the world.